Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about the disappearance of Neil McDougall, October 12th of 1985. Neil McDougall left three-way demolition in Durham on Friday, October 11th, 1985 with a co-worker and went home. He had an argument with his wife and the friend left. After supper, Mr. McDougall went to Aiton to the commercial hotel. He left the hotel with someone else and they met up elsewhere with a co-worker. Mr. McDougall then returned to the hotel and left at closing time between 1.30 and 1.40 a.m. He was last reported leaving a residence on Edmond Street, Aiton at 2 a.m., October 12, 1985. His pickup truck was discovered near Aiton later that day. The ashtray was filled with a different with different brands of cigarette butts. He has been described as meticulous, habitual, responsible, and hardworking. When he went missing, Neil was planning to adopt his wife's children. Foul play is suspected. Mr. McDougall was declared legally dead in 1996. In 2007, the case was reopened and Detective... Dan Lincoln, Lincoln held, had told the media that police believed they knew what happened. They needed someone to finally talk about what they would only call an event attended by many people after bar closing time the night that McDougal disappeared. Well, this is going to be a really good case to consult the tarot cards. I'm going to first start with the deck that I always start with, which is Haunted House Tarot. However, I don't want to stay with that deck the whole time because it is a Haunted House Tarot and it could have a certain filter on it. So my backup deck will be the Universal Weight and anything else I decide to grab. Let's go ahead and ask the cards. Uh, the Haunted House Tarot, take us through what happened the night Neil disappeared. So... This could be the hotel, or this could be a house. More than likely, this is a house. Um, I feel like this is a house. Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles are the family cards. Um, they don't always mean family, because nothing in tarot is always, always. Um, but there's a house back here, and there's money. There's something going on with money and a group. There's a group here. So we're going to pay attention to that. There's a group, there's money, there's a house. There's a target. There's an offer of money. Somebody's offering a sum of money. There's people talking in the background. So... I think that because this person has wings on them, that the talk was that someone was going to take him out. And there was money paid, and then we've got an agreement with somebody to take him out. I think there was an agreement. This is my theory for entertainment purposes only. Somebody was feeling trapped. Somebody was feeling trapped in their life. Like they couldn't escape from a certain situation. Wow, we've got a couple of women here. So when they say that he left with someone else, there's some feminine energy going on here. So I'm not sure if there is a feminine energy around this, but this is a couple of feminine women cards, and we'll see what else happens. What do you guys think when you see these cards? Here's the plot. There's the plot. There was definitely a plot, and they had to wait for the right timing. There was a plot involved, and that's what we said earlier, and this deck is confirming that. It's also confirming there's some feminine energy here again, and this is Nine of Pentacles, a sum of money being paid. All right, let's go to the universal weight, and we're going to just ask, 
What happened to Neil McDougall, who was a nice guy, they said, and he looks like a nice guy. High Priestess, secrets, hidden information. Secrets and hidden information. Oh, yeah. Th this was murder. Allegedly, and for entertainment purposes only, this was murder. This was 100% murder. And there was a group. There was a group. Somebody needs to come forward and talk about this. Now, you guys, I have some exciting news. For those of you who stayed into this video, you're going to be the first to find out that I have finally, after four years of testing, released my new Oracle deck made for my channel, but available to you all. It's called the Murder Mystery Oracle Cards. And this is detective cards with clues and insights. And I cannot tell you how many years of testing and retweaking it took me to get these cards done. They're on Etsy at mystical oracle cards Etsy shop. However, I hired my website, a website to be put up. And so I will post the website that these will go on in the next couple of weeks. So we're going to ask these murder mystery cards about the Neil McDougall. This is your first chance to see my cards in action. All right. Now you think about them for all you true crime lovers. The, this is definitely your deck. You think about your, your true crime, all right? You think about your unsolved murder. You never want to pull really more than three cards ever. Sometimes just one, sometimes two, sometimes three. But if you go too many, it'll, it'll not be accurate. So what do we have to know about the Neil? I'll just kind of randomly shuffle about Neil McDougall. What do we have to know about that, this case, this unsolved case? Someone coerced the killer into murdering the victim. You cannot make this up. You saw me shuffle. You saw my theory. These cards, like I said, have not disappointed me. They are awesome. These would be great cards for people doing podcasts who want to use these or just you listening to podcasts or just you wanting to solve true crime mysteries on your own. Someone coerced the killer into murdering. There you go. We don't know who. It doesn't, doesn't mean that it was, you know, anybody that loved him. Doesn't mean that. We just mean somebody coerced it. And that's what the cards had said so far. Now, what else do we have going here? The killer's out of the area. So, he's, so the killer's not even in the area anymore. So either the killer left the area um, after the murder. So that would be something to watch for if it was a local person who suddenly said, I'm out of here, <laughs> you know. Um, we'll pull a third one just to see. Sometimes you only need two. So they may have already interviewed the killer. So this gives them some more clues. So it could be somebody they already interviewed. Then the person left the area. Hmm. Let's just think about that for a while. All right. So we want to hope that this man's family receives justice um, to find out who did this horrific crime of murdering him. And I want to thank you for joining my YouTube channel. And you're going to see a lot more out of my murder mystery cards. You can count on that. So like I said, if you want to order these cards, they're at Etsy. Uh, and my shop name on there is Mystical Oracle Cards. Thank you very much for listening to my channel.